just wonderful to be a part of the little things in people's lives, like serving them a cup of coffee that gets them going, or, you know, giving two cups of coffee to somebody who's just beginning a relationship. George Howe, who was my great-grandfather, his original store was on Broad Street. It was Caddy Corner from where Beans on Broad is now. It's no longer there, it's an alley, um, but he loved promotions. And so he bought an old coffee roaster and put it in the window to draw people in. And for every $10 you spent, you bought a free pound of coffee. He thought to himself, this is going really well. I think I might try my hand at the coffee business. In 1927, the George J. Howe Company was started. Um, and we are now in our fourth generation. My great-grandfather, my grandfather, my father, my uncle, we've all sat at the same table and cut all of our coffee samples to take them out to market to our customers. Once the coffee is roasted, before it actually goes out to the customer, like beans on rod, we sample it again just to make sure it's up to our specifications. The beans um, that are served at Beans on Broad are single origin and they are roasted right here in Gersley, so they are fresh. They roast our espresso beans just for Beans on Broad. It's a special, it's a special roast. They're just so knowledgeable and they're just a great family. Actually used to own Beans on Broad. Um, I had worked there when it was previously a different coffee shop. And when the previous owner was ready to sell, she had come to me and said, hey, you know, your family's been in the coffee industry for a long time. Would you have any interest in purchasing the coffee shop? December 1st, 2009 is when I purchased that business and um, changed the name and turned it into Beans on Broad. I sold Beans on Broad in January of 2017. I had twins that were about a year and a half and owning a business like Beans on Broad, it is 24-7. I felt that I had seen it go to where I wanted it to go and that it was time for somebody with a new vision to step in. I've always wanted to own a coffee shop. So when we looked at this place, we were all in. We kept the name Beans on Broad because, I mean, it was established and we, we kept the How Coffee because that's local and we want to keep everything local to help the community and like I said my dream has always been to own a coffee shop so it was really comfortable that it came out. We made it our own. We redecorated and just made it our vision of what we wanted to look like. The first piece we bought was the carpet coming down the stairs. My sister saw it, it was like, oh, that makes a statement. Because when you walk in the door, that's what you see. When you come into a coffee shop, you want, you know, the big furniture, just in, in the atmosphere to make it for somebody to want to, you know, come in and do studies and, and just relax. I just think this is a great gathering place for people. They can get a great cup of coffee. There's music events. You can have a baby shower or a bridal shower there. So it really is a place where all people can go. And I think it's really become a family. It was right towards the end of when I owned it. And there was a couple that actually had their wedding there. Coffee was a huge part of their relationship and they wanted to have it somewhere special. When we took this over, I had to lash this. Whatever you guys do, if you have a wedding here, do not let them use confetti. Apparently, that was everywhere. It's just a wonderful place, and we just want everybody to think it's as wonderful as we think it is. I've been going to Beans since I was a freshman. I'm now a sophomore, so like a year and a half. I think it was one of with one of my sophomore friends who's now a junior but she was like I know this coffee place and I think it's really cool um, we should go and do homework so we went and I was like wow this is like a really nice place to do homework I feel like a stereotypical college kid that does homework in a coffee shop I 
favorite part of Beans is probably like just the environment and how pretty it is in there and so it's just very nice to be in there and it's a very relaxing place to be so. Beans is definitely like a staple of Grove City. Beans was our first date. Beans was the first time that we went out together and it was actually also one of the first times I had coffee. <laughs> went to Beans, got a raspberry white chocolate latte. I haven't been in Beans since without saying, oh, I love it here. It holds a different place in my heart just for its importance in my relationship and my formative time at college, I guess. We uh, went up to Niagara Falls over spring break. I was excited to see all my smiling friends around me when he got down on one knee. It was beautiful and I loved it. <laughs> I, I was freaking out. I, lo I loved it. But I was freaking out. If I had to propose in Grove City, I would have proposed in Beans, just because it's where we had our first date. I really hope Beans doesn't go anywhere. I would be heartbroken if Beans left. Beans on Broad continues to be a cornerstone of the community, and I think it will be for years to come.